In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a distribution list using in Google Apps for Education groups. So go up to the black ribbon here of Mail, Calendar, Drive, Sites, and choose Groups. Now to create a group, you go up here to the upper right and choose Create. And so then you would name your group and I'm just going to uh, make up a name of a group right now and we'll call it, um, it's going to be the Sites group. And in putting the name, it then also puts it down to, into the email address. So now the email address will be sites at trlsd.org. I need to give it a description, a group description. This. This group will share how to build a website. The next part that I need to handle here is the fact of what access level am I going to do. And is this restricted? Only managers can invite new members. Only members can post messages, view the members list, and read the archives. I would be the manager since I'm the one who is developing and creating this group. Is it going to be an announcement only that only managers can post? Anyone else can read and join? and read that? No, we don't really want that. The team, managers can invite new members, but anyone in trlsd.org can post messages, view the members list, and read the archives. Or public, anyone in trlsd can join, post messages, view. Well, for this type of group, I'm going to hit choose public. And so now I'm going to create my group. Now then you have two choices here. You can invite members or you can just add members directly that they're already in and you don't have to wait for them to accept the invitation. So to add members is just simply enter email addresses to add as members. So I can begin to start with the first letters of the names and I can begin to choose different people that I'm going to put in the group until I fill all of the members that I want in this group. Once I've done that, I can send an email to the new members notifying them that they have been added. And the options, send emails for each message and update is anytime there's something that happens within the group, they'll get an email when someone posts something new. Now what happens with this group is in setting it up is then you will be able to use this group to email to uh, when you are in mail and compose. So we can add then add members. I'm not adding members right now so I'm going to take this out. So I'm going to skip this step. You would just after entering the names you would hit add members. And now we are all set and if we go back to groups home you can see now I manage three different sites, the Google Maple Mail Learning Community, the iPad Rollout, and Sites. Now with that, if I go in to manage it, and I want to get the address, so this is the current email address, so I'm going to grab that email. and then go over to my mail and under contacts I'm going to add this email and I will just put up the name sites so now when I leave this and go back to mail if I wanted to send mail to this group, I could just hit S for sites, and there I have the email, and then that would then email, this is a distribution list, so whatever email I was sending, it would arrive to all the people I added into that group. So that is how you set up a distribution list in groups. 
This ends this tutorial.